fallen angels, right? The Grigori, Nephilim, Raphaim, Zamzamim, Anakim, Zuzums, and Emims. Huh? Are you getting all this? Isaiah 26, 19. Thy dead live, my dead body they rise. Awake and sing, ye dwellers in the dust. For the dew of herbs is thy dew, and the land of Raphaim thou causest to fall. Isaiah 26, 14. Dead they live not, Raphaim they rise not. Therefore thou hast inspected and dost destroy them. Yea, thou destroyest all their memory. Isaiah 17, 5. And it hath come to pass as the gathering by the reaper of the standing corn, and his arm the ears reapeth. And it hath come to pass as the gathering of the ears in the valley of the Raphaim. Isaiah 14, 9. Sheol beneath hath been troubled at thee to meet thy coming in. It is waking up for thee, Raphaim. All chiefs, ones of earth, it hath raised up from their thrones, all kings of nations. Right? Proverbs 21.16 A man who is wandering from the way of understanding in the assembly of the Raphaim resteth. Proverbs 9.18 And he hath not known that Raphaim are there in deep places of Sheol, her invited ones. Proverbs to 18 for her house hath inclined unto death and unto Raphaim her paths Psalms 88 10 to the dead dost thou do wonders do Raphaim rise do they thank thee Selah Job 26 5 the Raphaim are formed beneath the waters also their inhabitants Beneath the waters, their inhabitants, the Raphaim, open your friggin' minds. First Chronicles 14.9 And the Philistines have come and rush into the valley of the Raphaim. First Chronicles 11.15 And three of the thirty heads go down on the rock unto David, unto the cave of Adullam. And the host of the Philistines is encamping in the valley of Raphaim. 2 Samuel 23, 13 And three of the thirty heads go down and come unto the harvest, unto David, unto the cave of Adullam. And the company of the Philistines are encamping in the valley of the Raphaim. 2 Samuel 5, 22 And the Philistines add again to come up and are spread out in the valley of Raphaim. 2 Samuel 5 18. And the Philistines have come and are spread out in the valley of the Raphaim. Right? Joshua 18.16 And the border hath come down unto the extremity of the hill, which is on the front of the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is in the valley of the Raphaim, northward, and hath gone down the valley of Hinnom, Onto the side of Jebusi, southward, and gone down to Enrogel. Joshua 17, 15. And Joshua said unto them, If thou art a numerous people, go up for thee to the forest. Then thou hast prepared for thee there, in the land of the Perizzite, and of the Raphaim, when Mount Ephraim hath been narrow for thee. Joshua 15, 8. And the border hath gone up, the valley of the son of Hinnom, unto the side of the Jebusite, on the south. It is Jerusalem, and the border hath gone up unto the top of the hill country, which is on the front of the valley of Hinnom, westward, which is in the extremity of the valley of the Raphaim, northward. Detrimony 2.11 Raphaim they are reckoned, they also as the Anakim and the Moabites call them Emim. Genesis 15.20 And the Hittite and the Perizzite and the Raphaim. Genesis 14.5 
And in the fourteenth year came Shedar Lama and the kings that were with him and smote the Raphaims in Ashtaroth, Kanaim, and the Zuzums in Ham and the Emims in Shaveth, Kirathium. Detrimony 2.20 That also was accounted a land of giants. Giants dwelt there in old time and the Ammonites called them Zumzumim. Detrimony 2.21 A people great and many and tall as the Anakims, but the Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their steed. Joshua 13.12 All the kingdom of Og in Bashan, who reigned in Ashtaroth and in Idre, he was left of the remnant of the Raphaim, and Moses doth smite them and disposes them. Joshua 12, 4, and the border of Og, king of Bashan, of the remnant of the Raphaim, who is dwelling in Ashtaroth and in Edri. Detrimony 3, 13, and the rest of Gilead, and all Bashan, the kingdom of Og, I have given to the half-tribe of Manasseh, all the reign of Agog. To all the Bashan called the land of Raphael. Detrimony 3.11 For only Og, king of Bashan, had been left of the remnant of the Raphael. Lo, his bedstead is a bedstead of iron. Is it not in Rabbath of the sons of Ammon? Nine cubits its length, and four cubits its breadth, for the cubit of a man. One friggin' giant being, if you ask me. An orb. What about the orb? The circle of orb. Huh? They've just uncovered it. Archaeology's making you hypocrites out there. Eat your own friggin' words, isn't it? First Samuel 17.4 And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. Second Samuel 21.16 And Ishbi, Benob, who is among the children of the giant, the weight of his spear is three hundred shekels, weight of brass, and he is girded with a new one, speaketh of smiting David. 2 Samuel 21.18 And it cometh to pass afterwards that the battle is again in Gob with the Philistines, then hath Sebachshia, the Heshud knight, smitten Saph, who is among the children of the giant. 2 Samuel 21.20 20. And the battle is again in Gath, and there is a man of stature, and the fingers of his hand are six, and the toes of his feet are six. Six fingers, six toes, twenty and four in number, and he also has been born to the giant, to the Nephilim, the fallen ones your brain hurting or are you still able to comprehend? 2 Samuel 21, 22 These four have been born to the giant in Gath and they fall by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. 1 Chronicles 24 And it cometh to pass after this that there remaineth war in Gezir with the Philistines then has Sebachshia, Hashathite, smitten Sipai of the children of the giant, and they are humbled. First Chronicles 26 And there is again war in Gath, and there is a man of measure, and his fingers and his toes are six, and six, twenty, and four, and also he has been born to the giant. First Chronicles 28 These were born to the giant in Gath, and they fell by the hand of David, and by the hand of his servants.